Today's event was on precision farming. So uh, how can you use uh, precision elements in, the, in your application techniques on the farm to, to produce more with less? I think that's the big guideline. We need to produce more food, more um, raw materials in the future, but we need to use less resources and do it in a better way. And precision farming includes all the wonderful technologies like GPS sensors, variable rate technology um, that can help you to do the right Thing on the right place at the right time in the right dose. Being a vector of the um, of the EU economy, it is important that farmers have access to the latest technologies in order to compete to dynamic market and to deliver the service they are requested. It is then important that all the EU policies they integrate in one strategy that will uh, help farmers to uptake these smart farming techniques. The farmers are using uh, technology which is delivering now more more uh, capabilities, uh, so they are trying to integrate it in within their uh, usual uh, management of their farms um, and this will allow them from one side to deliver uh, some environmental benefits also proving what they are doing because they will now have access to more data about what they do but they will also be able to use these techniques in order to connect to other markets uh, for example using digital tools and they don't have to use um, uh, big infrastructure to connect for example to China Chinese market um, and this will help them on um, uh, improving not only their business plan, but also uh, de um, uh, delivering what they are requested by the society. Really that precision farming can bring enormous benefits because it can reduce the environmental impact um, and boost production. So we need to increase production. We have many more people in the world and you know by 2050 about another two and a half billion people to feed so we need to produce more from less and precision farming techniques offer great potential it means we need to develop the technology so that for example applying um, a pesticide can be done in microscopic drops just where it's needed and not sprayed all over the field so that sort of thing is where we can, we can go. Um, I think the, the new technology means we don't need a big tractor that can carry a person around. It can be much smaller, much less impact on the soil, because the management of soil, soil health and the management of water are hugely important. All these things can be helped by precision farming. Precision farming is a, it can be a promising technology that can deliver results, but it's not the only solution that we need to address the future challenges of European agriculture. It's a solution that would work very well in high input agricultural systems, we believe, but many other types of farming systems that we have in Europe will, will not benefit so much from, from uh, precision farming. They need other type of tools, we need other types of, of approaches that also need to be deployed in the future. There are a uh, lot of interest for precision farming uh, from all kind of stakeholders and I think that uh, yeah, the group of people was relatively aligned uh, about what is important and of course also to put the farmer in really in the center to understand the different need of the farmer it's not just to develop technology but it needs to be it needs to be the uh, something that is that farmers can use and uh, and I also talk a lot about measurement to understand really what you are doing and to be able to do corrections and, and adjustments going through, throughout the production season. Well, I try to explain what are the activities that from DJ Agri we are doing for supporting digital transformation in agriculture. So we are current under, the, under the current common agriculture policy. We are using uh, Horizon 2020 and uh, we are also using rural development programs through the European Innovation Partnership to support this digital transformation. In Horizon 2020, we are developing projects to taste new technologies for the agriculture sector. So we work a very close collaboration with our colleagues in DigiConnect. We have, as an example, for example, a large-scale pilot on Internet of Things technologies, so the deployment of Internet of Things technologies for the agri-food sector that started to run beginning of this year. And uh, in the next work program, 2018-2020, we are also uh, planning an important investment on, on digital technologies for agriculture. Precision farming is, has quite a great interest at the moment in Brussels and the European Commission and the European Union in general has put quite a thematic focus on it and it's also started to provide funding under the Horizon 2020 research program to understand better how certain mechanisms in precision farming work and how also to push the technology further, particularly also in the next step of precision farming which, which is digital farming or as we say agriculture for zero.